I do it for the love first, peep the intentions, man. I spit game, but you never learn no lessons, man. God damn, we back at it. And F is back at it. Once again, another track that's released when I was at work. So now it's currently after 5 o'clock, and I gotta, well, don't want 6 o'clock at this point, and I gotta record this so later. You know how I like to be first. But that's besides the point. NF is back with a track called Motto. He released Hope about two, three weeks ago now. And of course, the next album that he's releasing on April 7th is called Hope. And Hope, the, the title track was absolutely banger of a track. Nice little comeback track from that we got from NF because it's been two years since he's released a project and Clouds. And two years before that, he released The Search. So it's been four, hour, four hours, four hours, <laughs> four years since he released the album. And Hope seems like it's gonna be promising. You know, I love NF for his deepness, his thought provokingness, his introspectiveness, all the nesses about NF. And he's definitely an outcast, I guess you could say in the hip hop world, but I still thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy it. And it's back again with another track, Motto. So all that being said, NF with the second leading single leading to this Hope album coming out April 7th, Motto. I could write a record for the radio songs, do a bunch of features at my label with love. You know, that, that is big facts. You know, NF, NF is one of those artists where like one of this, where they make no attention, no attention to having a radio hit song, no no attention to having a big popular song, et cetera, et cetera, but just happy to get it one of those songs, being Let You Down from uh, Perception. So that was 2017, so that came out. So that was a hot hit back in like 2018, I guess you could say, because Perception came out tw late 2017. He's just one of those artists, that, that one random song that he just regularly put out, like put a heart and soul into, and just happens to blow up out of nowhere. And that came with a more mainstream presence that a lot of people, a lot of new fans came from NF with, with Let You Down plopping, plopping up and blowing up. But NF, this is music, it's far from mainstream. <laughs> and we listen to his discography. You can see the trials and tribulations this man has gone through the entire days of life. So if people come in like, oh, what is the NF character? Let you down stuff like these trailers. Look at the rest of the discography, the rest of his singles and albums and stuff. He's just like, damn, this motherfucker been through some shit. But yeah, NF, not really a popular artist. Don't make, make music for the radio. But people that do listen to music, know how deep and thought provoking it is. Way I should write. Oh God, yeah. sounds like a nightmare if you ask me. I know how many times that I was told things wouldn't work, but worked out. Having cold feet didn't keep me from. That's when you know, man. That's when you know you're confident in yourself, confident in the abilities, confident in the work you put in, whatever, whatever perspective, you, whatever your genre is, whatever kind of work you do, whether it's a professional world, music, photography, video, YouTube, uh, whatever it is, you just have the confidence and the ambition and the thought provoking and everything you put behind it. They know it's going to be a big, inspirational, inspire people, help people, entertain people, whatever the case may be. And uh, yeah, you just, you just know that even though people say it ain't going to work, it ain't going to work, it ain't going to be successful, why are you putting all this time and effort to it, you just know. You just hope and believe you put in the effort and, and the ability and the passion into it and everything will come to fruition. And also the context of the song you can see out throughout the gate is on a Hollywood red carpet and it's a uh, opposite of his traditional all black women, all white outfit. I love the context that they put in the music videos for NF and the director that he worked with. And uh, yeah, let's carry on with the track. I used to be the guy who killed to get a number one. I had to hear that song's a hit before I thought it was. Eating popcorn in the back row. I'll be right there with you. I'm always sitting in the back. You might see me in the same clothes. I had a last week in my shame, though. Yeah, that don't make no sense to you, well, of course. See, one man's inconvenience is another's joy. Wow, wow. Telling me to get a life, you should look at yours. Ooh. Yeah, congratulations, you man. Ain't how big you are, it's how big you see. Where people sacrifice the art trying to chase a dream. Thanks. Man, where's the war at? He see pop on the background like he said. Got my feet propped up. Leave my shirts untucked. The trophy that's gray. I'm happy for you, no hey. Meanwhile, this man's still going down to get his award. <laughs> Man, damn near crip walk down the red carpet stairs. <laughs> Who's this character? Got the milkshake and all. And that's NF model. Thoroughly enjoy that track. That track is definitely a common anti-industry uh, track that we hear there from from artists who are typically outcasts. Whether it's in the Pacific world, their their genre for out for NF would be 
uh, hip hop. You know, the outcast of a rapper in hip hop, and then uh, and then music genre, the music industry, other rappers I can see who could be like anti-establishment, anti-industry, anti-record label, whatever the case may be. Lotta would be one of them. We see how had the turmoil it did with him in Def Jam. Um, now he's fully independent. Russ, who's always been anti-industry, he was he was on a record deal for like three years, but he's always been preaching independence, independence, being independent. Um, so that's some other artists I can see who are very anti-industry, anti-establishment, anti-record label, et cetera, et cetera. So that's definitely an anti-industry track from NF. And uh, yeah, NF is definitely outcast. He's always portrayed that in his music. He even has a track called Outcast on his perception album that came out in 2017. So yeah, thoroughly enjoyed that track. Can't wait for the next single, wherever that case may be. The album is coming out is April 7th. So you probably might get another single or two. I'm excited for the album. The album, I think it's like 16, 19, 16 to 20 odd tracks. So pretty typical for NF. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for the album. Motto, thoroughly enjoyed that. But Hope, man, Hope. If y'all haven't seen my reaction to Hope, the, the intro track to the, the first single to the Hope album, please do check that out. Because that track was absolutely insane. But NF, Motto, thoroughly enjoyed it. So, if you like the piece of the video, I got more content like this always coming soon. So please subscribe. And F Hope album coming out April 7th, just less than a month away. Can't wait. The full album reaction video is gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. I'll see y'all next video. Peace.